Uh, Washington at USC. Mm. Ooh, 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 What's the ooh, over ooh. under on this game? Uh, I'll look it up right now. A I mean, fascinating game, though. I think from a narrative standpoint, Washington seems to be trending downward. USC is in complete also free fall. trending downward. <laughs> well, I, I would say they're worse than trending downward. USC is in a bit of free fall. Like they should be very happy they escaped that Cal game with a win. Mm -hmm. uh, how, so, so it's interesting because both teams represent a get out of jail free card for the other. Like whoever wins will be able to go back to their fan base and say, now calm down, calm down. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not as bad as you currently think it is. And obviously Washington has a lot more to, they're not near in the trouble that Lincoln Riley seems to be in. Uh, what do you think, Aaron? Do the Huskies go and just really tighten the screws on what has been a shockingly poor year two out of USC? Washington's the better football team. They're the better offense. Yes. They are. They're the better offense. I mean, if we want, let's just break it down by by position groups. Who is the better offense? It's 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 Washington, and Penix is playing as as well as anyone in the country right now. So it, you give them the advantage. And who's the better defense? Washington's the better defense. That, 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 that's not outthink it here. Like I love Caleb, but yeah. Caleb can't do it on his own. Caleb can't play defense. He can't he can't be Superman like that. So Washington's going to score as many points as they can't. Like they, they, this is going to be a game where Washington's going to score in the fifties maybe low 60s, and they'll get just enough defensively to slow them down. I, I don't, did you find out what the over-under is on this thing? I am uh, I mean, trying to look it up over, right now. I'm having trouble I don't care with what it. Uh, is. This is you're saying just a blind bet over, like the Iowa blind I, bet under. I Yes, I may just – it is 76 and a half. Yeah, I mean, I think that'll hit. I think, I think that'll, that'll definitely hit. hit. That's crazy. I mean, this is a game that's going to be 55-40. I, uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's like it's at USC. The atmosphere is not going to be great. I don't care that it's Washington in town who could be a top three or four team based on the polls tonight. Uh, I think the USC faithful after what's happened the past three weeks are kind of like, all right, well, we gave it a shot and now we really don't care about football as much. Yeah. Anymore. Let's yeah. Move on. <laughs> I definitely, so like, I definitely they're, agree they're, that. They're, I mean, if it was in Washington, maybe you, you may see some more stops offensively, but it's just going to be, it, it's going to be seven on seven. This will be a seven on seven game. It's going to look a lot like the, uh, for those SEC fans, the LSU Ole Miss game. His poor tackling, two quarterbacks just doing it out, great receivers, and, you know, who doesn't make one silly mistake? Again, it's just that even, even if, like, even though the Washington defense kind of disappointed me against Stanford, the Washington defense is multiple orders of magnitude better yep. than SC. I actually think this might sound crazy. And if you want to disagree, I won't, I won't. You know, I won't argue this to the mat, but I kind of think Kalen DeBoer is a better head coach than mm. Lincoln Riley in some ways. I know that Lincoln's got an incredible resume, and I would never argue against Lincoln's ability to train up multiple Heisman guys and get unreal offensive success, but he doesn't have the championships on the levels that mm. DeBoer has, even if it's on lower levels. And I don't know that he has the big, well, actually, probably in his Oklahoma days. He does, but like I saw Kalen DeBoer go into Eugene last year mm -hmm. and come out with a win against a very good Oregon team. Uh, like I, I think he's going to go into LA this year and come out with a win. And I don't think Michael Penix Jr. is going to be denied. No. I think Penix is hearing that noise more than anyone else. I think he's angry. And I think uh I think they're receiving court. So yeah, look, uh, Penix and those receivers, their eyes got to be massive because this is a pad your stats game, put up numbers. And for a for a well, um, and I would say too for for, for Washington to like run the football some that's like what, you, go, just you, you go back to the Oregon game like what yeah. did they do that was surprising to me is yeah. they committed to the run and yeah. and 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 Oregon was kind of taken off off guard by that I think they were expecting like I just say hey, they're going to throw the ball the entire game air, air raid style and they they had a lot of success throughout that game. And we will continue to bring this up. Like the fact that Colorado ran for what over 200 yards versus USC tells you all you need to know about that defense. Like for Washington, this isn't just a, I don't want it, I don't want the Huskies to think this is a Penix versus Caleb moment. And we're going to go out there and pad, pad Penix's stats to, to continue his, his, his Heisman campaign, which he still can. Don't get me wrong, like he's going to get his numbers. But this is a game, if I'm Washington, where I kind of say, like, let's just run the football. Yeah, no, get just, Dylan. Let's just just, just, yeah, you're exactly just right. whoop USC's ass up front. 
keep USC's offense off the field. Penix is going to get his one-on-ones. He'll take advantage of that. We know he's good enough and accurate enough with that, but they'll be able to run the football for 150 plus yards. Them running Dylan Johnson the same way it held, did against Oregon just mm-hmm. helps everything else work. Yep. <laughs> it, it sucks up the defense. It creates some of the big play opportunities, takes pressure off of Michael Penix to have to do everything. Um, and again, it's weird that they ran it so well against Oregon, but it kind of struggled here recently. But if you ever need a get right game, this is the USB game defense is mm-hmm. the panacea to your problems.